What's going on there? Sunshine somewhere, haven't I? Don't make me come find you. You're gonna go. Me for the posh girls in year seven. Dos mil años más tarde. Don't you look well? Nice to see you, man. Well, if it isn't Sally Boyle. Himself is upstairs tinkering. When will he be? It's been weeks now. It's a device you left behind. Apparently, it's quite clever and complex. I just came to buy some chemicals. Over my cold, dead body. Fiona. It's not just borrowing my man while you were here. I could have got over that. It's the ambitions you put into him. Fiona, I'm sorry. He wants to be more than a village chemist. How's that, I says? Will you go to London to study to be a doctor? Will you take over Hayworth Labs? She still wouldn't take you back, I says. But you sold him the stars. And now he can't barely see where he's going. Maybe he liked me because I thought he could be more. You ever think of that? Get out of here. Get out, you witch. And don't let the door hit you in the arse on the way out. <laughs> Well, she's mellowed. Fiona said Stuart's been working on my old pituitary extractor. Maybe... Maybe I can get it back from him later, when she's not in the shop. Wait. Harry Cavendish. He still works with the labs, doesn't he? And he owes me a favour. I'll drop by his house. And don't forget, there'll be cake and fries Don't miss it, or the villagers will pray. You look around. 
out, don't you? <laughs> That's serious. Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Sally Boyle. Well, I haven't seen you in a dog's age. What? What happened to your eyes? Oh, this little thing. A doctor used miscalculated the brominating reaction and it blew up in my face. Then he convinced Dr. Verloc it was my fault. So I got the sack. That weasel. Oh, you don't have to pretend you're interested in the tedious old lab. How's the glamorous life of an experimental chemist? It's a bit blocked at the moment. Can't get mercury amalgam. Did you know they vent gallons of it onto rat home? Oh, well, you wouldn't. You've moved on to greener pastures. I'm sorry. I thought Anton knew what he was doing. Oh, I don't blame you for leaving us all behind. When love fades, you have to move on. Well, I'm sure you'll figure out where to find some amalgam. Maybe I will. But someone's got to prove it was Dr. Hughes's fault you lost your eyes. You know, you're right. He could hurt someone else. Is there... Any evidence that it was his fault? You know, now that you mention it, his lab notes. He keeps them in his doctor bag. I bet they're all the evidence I need. Oh, you know what? I bet they'd also tell me how to extract the amalgam you need out of the stuff the lab is piping onto Rat Home. I'll get you his lab notes. Here's where he lives. Come back, and I'll tell you where to find the pump outlet. Don't go anywhere. Wouldn't dream of it. Familiar, doesn't he? Oi! You don't belong there! That's the one more done it! To defy authority. the war you're not oh going. those peepers weren't there before why are they trying to keep people out I'll chew you up right now Wow, 
You can't say Dr. Hughes doesn't have a keen sense of style. I'd better be particularly don't careful. Make them like you anymore. If he knows I'm there, he'll get nasty Steve. fast. <laughs> oh, I'd better get a bandage on that. Don't make a fuss. I'm going to make. <laughs> you had this coming. This must be the bag Harry wanted. You're looking fine today. Did you hear? Bulky Jack got another one. Quite a sturdy bag. I wonder if Gwen would fit in here. She'd need to be able to breathe. You Some sort of oxygen and soundproofing in case she starts crying. I bet Lionel could make something like that. Oh, that's gonna leave a nasty scar. Oh, damn it! Harry? It's Sally. Uh, Sally Boyle. Just a moment. Just a moment, damn it. I can't get to the door as fast as I used to. Did you get Dr. Hughes's bag? I've got it. Aren't you Brillo? Well, here's the formula you'll need. You can get to Ratome via the maintenance tunnels. There's a code at the door. It's 1649. I really am sorry about the accident. I thought Anton had a handle on things. Well, now we know. Cheerio! That was nasty. I'll need a few things before I go. I can get there from any hatch, now that I've got the code. That's it for this dress. The road goes ever on and on. I am 
so glad Foggy Jack doesn't live down there. anyone take my little girls away. How do you plan to manage that? You mustn't lie to them. I'm not. I said, how do you plan... Lovely weather. for anybody else. See some horribly mutated Cheshire cat. Where do I get the key card to this? <laughs> oh, Gwen, you'd never believe the day Mummy's had.
Aha. I was sure Antoine had another lamp, but he always said it was my imagination. Please stand A by for decontamination. You have been decontaminated. Please proceed into the lab. Testing Formula A317. Subject is a downer from the village. Retreat to the Garden District September 12, 19. Kiss my ass! Tests negative for plague. But we don't matter. Just because we can't take joy. That gives you the right to stop us with plague. Calm down. This experiment has approval from Dr. Verloc himself. <laughs> Better you than me. What's this key card doing here? I bet whoever left it was wearing a dress without pockets. Something. Look, just drink it down. There's a good girl. Why don't you drink it? For science! How did you get out of your... God! Bottoms up! I suppose I just shove my canteen in there and hope it doesn't burn my hand off. Full canteen. I hope Harry's right about getting the mercury out. Next ingredient, pituitary extract. Stuart Adams was tinkering with my old extractor, wasn't he? Maybe I can buy it back from him. Or borrow it.
Fly me to the moon, would you? These tracks would be so much nicer with trains. Off with the wet, on with the dry. I won't. She is loud and stubborn. Her feet abide and not in her house. There. You must take your Daddy joy in me. Stop them! I see you. You're coming with me. You're gonna get what's coming to you! That's the last one! You're coming with me! I see you! You're coming with me! Get away with this! That's the truth, bugger!
Speciality on the spine. Out of the smelly darkness into... Well, not that much better. Return to the scene of the crime. I can't see you. Here is done. Hello. Hmm. I could use a bit of money. And I bet Stuart wouldn't mind having a few Sally specials to sell. The old top shelf. Morning! Sally! Oh, you never come by anymore. Well, Fiona. Oh, Cerberus. I. She's never understood me, Sally. Not like you do. She mentioned, among other things, that you've improved my extractor. Have you still got my extractor? I have. Oh, you're going to be very proud of me. It's much quicker now. Might even uh, sting a little less. You've improved it? Would you like to test it out? You sure Fiona won't murder you? Oh, oh, she barks, but she don't bite <laughs> much. <laughs> I'll let you know how it works. Honey pituitary extract from someone who's been exposed to mustard gas. Mikey Forrester's clinic ought to have a patient or two like that. I'll send him a note on the blower. Someone's dead. Oi! Get out of there! What? I see ya! I hope this is Vola Royale. 